Hello, welcome everybody to Tailspire. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing well. We are online. I'm assuming. We are. Hello, Conrad. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We are finally up. This is session zero. I could call it session minus one, but it doesn't look good on the title. So yesterday we've been messing around with a lot of things and I rediscovered, quite honestly, how much I love DMing. And uh, a lot of people here are lovely creatures who DM a lot of things or experience a lot of D&D &D or any form of roleplay in their life. And uh, starting today, and maybe going a little bit forward, we're going to be trying out some very beautiful D&D campaign stuff. Where this is like, what do you call it? An experiment. This is me trying my best to start something, figure out how to play something properly. So welcome to my puzzle, to say, I believe. So last time I did adjust a few things, but it looks like it's back to being a dry board, which I'm not too opposed to it. I guess I haven't saved anything. Uh, let's put on the music. I just asked if the atmosphere could have some ambient music. And did they, they did say, you're allowed to have some tavern music. <laughs> I asked in the, in the real discord and they said, as long as the game says Tail the Spire or Tail Spire, I'm allowed to use their in-game music to stream and whatnot. Welcome, Sane. Welcome. Welcome. Today, we're going to have a very interactive uh, stream. So hopefully you guys are watching, playing, messing around with us. So we're going to have two things. I'm, I'm planning to have... a. Uh, a decent poll system so i need some polling to be done and i also would like a way to record actions and have a basic game system so we're not going to be doing like the whole dnd game system with all the stats we're just going to have a simplified version uh just so we can have an easier time running around so i always loved the idea of uh starting um <laughs> so conrad i the good news is you would not you don't need to know anything about dnd the bad news is uh, this is probably not dnd this is dnd like games so what i'm gonna do is i will set up the scene with everybody's help and then going forward the the character, there will be one character, and it's gonna be chat. If things look really good, we'll have multiple characters, but for now, I cannot... <laughs> I cannot function without knowing how things can go. Uh, it's not gonna be Baldur Gate, because, I mean, Baldur Gate is a... I mean, it's it's not a AAA game, but it's pretty close to a AAA game. So let's start first of all, everybody, where do you want to start our game? So any, we'll start with a poll inside the YouTube. So in the YouTube, we'll have a question, game setting. So the setting will be, <laughs> yes, I am the game master. I'm the dungeon master. Uh, so where do you want to start? Pop is one, sure. We'll, uh, what other option is there? We could have a long road. Uh, we could have a boat, I guess. Boat could work. A lovely boat. Or or port can also function. Um, one more option, boys. What else could there be? Conrad saying, where should the game start? The faster people... <laughs> type the better things gonna be <laughs> in the broth of Burkra. i mean a pub is i guess <laughs> we could have a brothel 
Uh, I, I forgot how degenerate uh, <laughs> YouTubes can be. Uh, so, okay, I'll add Brothel. No problem. Since these are the people around us, this is what you get. The more people around, the more options there will be. So we'll start the poll, game setting. Feel free to <laughs> choose. I'll leave a five minute timer every time I put a poll so that we don't spend a billion year waiting for everybody to function. So while people are using the poll, I'll see if the timer can function properly. All right, we, I have a timer. It's not the best, but it can do its job. Let, let make it, let's me, let's me make it smaller, smaller, smaller timer. Can I? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll have a small timer. We'll put it on the middle of the screen. And this is the timer. So the timer is on the screen now, and that's how long we'll wait before we go ahead with the first decision of the day. Where do we want to go? Where are we starting? I mean, <laughs> we have five people watching, or approximately five right now. So as soon as everybody voted, I think there's no point in waiting anymore. So I'll generally uh, go ahead the moment at least half the viewers voted. So we don't have to wait even five minutes. That would be also good. Okay, good, good. We have five votes and end poll. Perfect. All right, I love this. I love, I love the idea. So, starting with the boat. Uh, there is no way to indicate it here, but the chats did agree. This is a boat ride or a port ride, but I think boat. So we'll begin with building our boat first. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Sousa. I am rediscovering the beauty of D&D slash roleplay. And you know what? It's been a long time since I've decided to do something cool. So I'm just going to wing it for today. And let's see if we can make a ship. Right? Let's make a cute, cute ship. Oh, that, there is so much shit here. So we could start with creating a ship. Or we can just take something that's already ready-made, because apparently there is a lot of community modes. This is a Tailspire. This is the name of the mod. So we could find creatures, stuff, everywhere. It's so beautiful. The community is beautiful. And uh, I wish there is, there is a share, share uh, a search function. So let's go ship. And let's roll. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely massive festival ship. Ooh. You know what? I'll take a moo ship. No. Let's take a simple ship. A small ship. Yes. So we're gonna blob a simple ship oh my god beautiful all right everybody this is our ship today i uh it's much bigger than expected can i zoom out even further no okay so we are currently on the ship it's a huge ship, everybody. <laughs> right now, this is our ship. Um, it's 500 tiles big. Creature wise is also cool. Look at it. Look at it go. Um, I will. I think I just put it up too high. Let's let's put it up again, because I think I. I inputted the ship a little too high. So. Uh, yeah. 
We need it to be just above ground. How deep is the ship? I think it's like here, probably. Cool. All right, that is our ship. Are we gonna meet a pearl fisher? We could, we could. <laughs> All right, so the ship is here, and uh, we are currently in the building mod. I think we can have sea as well, because we're in the middle of the sea, I am assuming. I'm not planning to make a port just yet. Oh, it's sea fort? No. No, thank you. Let's go back to the library. Can you add water, or does that not work? I think we could add water. Let's see if we are functioning humans. Sea. Wall floor net. No. Hmm. Importer. Great. Uh, let's uh, set it up. Water is here. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful water. Uh, a little bit of water does not hurt nobody. No. One second. Went off screen. Alright. So we have our water bed. Or. Let me see if I can bring it up. One second. So we do it this way, and then we can raise it up, raise it up. No. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, this is good enough water bed. And I hope you guys are in agreement. I'm not doing more than this. I'm just doing it because I have to. All right, cool. Next thing on the line. We're gonna choose our main character. Uh, le so let's go to the creature board. Hmm? <laughs> so creature board, we're gonna find out how human humans are. What kind of character are we? Let's start with a poll. So we can be anything from the list here. As you can see, I mean, within the med medieval fantasy. So we could be an aberration, a beast, a celestial construct. We're choosing race first. And based on the race, we can figure out the backstory. We can be a dwarf, an elementalist, elf, fey, giant. Boys, just decide what race we will be, so we can start. So race for our character, Dragonfolk. Okay, sure. We can be lizards. Dragonfolk. That's one. Suggestions, suggestions, buddies. Uh, we could be undead, no problem. I like undead creatures, why not? But we can be as creative as we are poss we can possibly, I guess. Um, dwarf. Dwarf is always fair. One more option, and we're gonna send it to the polls. One more option, boys. I mean, we're human, sure. Fair enough. Alright, start the second poll. Everybody, what race are we? And as I say race, we put our timer up here so we can have... Uh, what do you call it? A semblance of urgency. So five minutes, that is how long I'm willing to wait. Or until we have at least half the amount of votes as viewers. 
Fair enough, right? I think it's fair enough. Oh, instantly three votes. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, things are moving. We have five votes so far. Two more, and we're going ahead and ending the poll. So far, Dragon Folk wins with three votes, I think. I'm assuming. I'm doing the math right. <laughs> Let's see, is there a Dragon Folks here? You didn't get a, I didn't get a poll. Uh you you have to check uh no there is. So um how, how can I show the poll? Uh you can either refresh the chat or leave and come back to the stream. It will be more apparent. Yeah, sometimes it does that. The polls take a little bit to show. So we have six votes so far. Pretty good. That's there. <laughs> great, great. So far, one vote for undead, one vote for dwarf, and one vote for human, and the rest goes to dragon folk. Okay, six votes down, seven left. I think we're good. Let's end it. Great work, guys. We don't have to wait more than a couple of minutes every time. I really hope this could be faster at some point, just so we can run through things that require options, but I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys too. So Dragon Folks, we got, let's see, the mini, the first mini. Let's put him in the middle of this huge ass ship. This ship is huge. So we have a Dragon Folk, this guy, this guy, boom. Takes a little bit to, like, get the colors in. I think we'll have to switch. Oh. Have to be careful not to press any weird buttons. So player-wise, this is how it looks to the player. This is just a beautiful ship. And then when you switch to GMs, these are our heroes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. But this is the best uh, quality I could find. So we have our four heroes here, and uh, we are just trying to survive. One of these boys is going to be our main character for the day. Which one will it be? Uh, they're not NPC. They're the main characters. Others can be the NPCs, but one of them will be. So... Which one are we? We have four options, starting from right to left. I'll I'll just put the name of the color. So, yellow, yellow sword and shield, red, angry axe guy. Uh, the third one is somewhat of a wizard with a staff that is very pale. And the last one is, um, looks like... <laughs> I don't want to say snot guy, but he is darker green tone with an Eldritch power. That is how he looks. Start the poll. All right, boys, we have six people. This is the next guy. Who are we using today? Is it gonna be a sword and shield fighter? Are we doing wizards? What are we doing? Since we have six boys, we're gonna wait and see. Lovely, lovely. Okay, sword guy. We have four votes out of currently six, so hopefully that goes up eventually. But right now I'm happy with this bunch of humans that I love. 
I don't get a vote, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so far, the yellow sword and the wizard with the staff. No, it's either a wizard or this or the dark green eldritch boy. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, red angry axe gets one as well. Six volts are down. And we are currently... We actually have a standstill. This is interesting. So we have seven people watching, six people chose. And we're down to two choices. Um, we didn't even have a timer up, so... And I don't think anybody else is there to vote. So we're going to be repeating the poll with the two options that remained. All right. So. So right now we have wizard with that is very pale and the dark green tone Eldritch power guy. Let's do another poll with these two options as their thing. You have casting gold if Trevor comes out. Ooh. Yes, yeah, sure. If it comes down to a choice, I get to choose it. I get to pretty much choose. So out of the beautiful, beautiful. Boom. Go. Goodbye. Kill. Oh. I don't know why I threw them away. Okay, sure. We'll have less characters to fight around. Um, your wizard, Harry, sounds like the way to go. All right, this is our main character. We'll, uh, where is he? Oh. Uh, let's put him in the light. I'm way too quick on movement, huh? Put him on the poop deck. Wait a second, can I? Let's put him up here. Come on, climb up, climb up, please. Yeah, yeah. Go up, please. If I drop him, he'll drop very far. Hmm. <laughs> I need him to go up. All right, here, here he is. <laughs> How is it? I think that's pretty good, right? Our hero of the day. Please focus, please. Can't see him because, uh, you know, the sun is too strong. <laughs> Look at him go, buddy. Alright, this is our hero. He has not yet found out who he is. What he is, how is he going to be created? So we're going to be starting with emotes. Surprised. Great, you are surprised. You're in the middle of nowhere. Um, GM tools, player permission, rename. So first thing we're going to do is name this guy. So people start suggesting games. Names, I mean. I didn't say games. Names. So what is the name of our big boy here? <laughs> His name is Icarus the Mage. Sure. Icarus the Mage who went too close to the sun. What else could his name be? He's been Guardian of Eos at the living day. Okay. <laughs> We could name him George. I don't know why. Grinch. I like names with G's, but I don't know why. 
And one more name, boys. Wingardium Leviosa. Yes. Because <laughs> he's flying. What name do we want our main guy to be? Brian? Brian? Brian, sure. <laughs> G-Curus. All right. G-Curus it is. We'll see. All right, boys. We have four names. Let's see how it fares. Feel free to vote on your favorite name. I'll, I'll put the timer up because uh, you never know if it's going to take a while. I mean, so far it seems like we don't need five minutes, but it's a good idea to have five minutes around. At max, I mean. It's never five minutes, but just in case. So far, it's between Brian and Icarus the Mage. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> we have three votes out of eight people. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. My name is Rockdem, and I'm currently doing some cool shit with some D&D. If you're interested in hanging out with us, figuring out session zero, this is me trying out Tailspire, seeing how things can work with other things. And currently we're naming our hero, our staff-wielding Dragonfolk wizard. And, uh... <laughs> so far... <laughs> so far... Brian is holding up as the name. <laughs> From Zero to Hero Brian. Yeah, why not? Five votes in, we have Brian holding the lead barely. So this could easily switch. We have eight people watching, uh, five votes. <laughs> I like how it's becoming more... Uh, people are enjoying the name more. Maybe from zero to guts, he could get gutted. Mm -hmm. So far, the name is Brian. What's the timer like? Okay, we have a few minutes more. Uh, we have six votes, seven people watching. I guess that's enough. I was hoping one more vote just to ease up into the transition. But I guess this is okay as well. <laughs> oh, the seventh vote is here. <laughs> G Prime it is. He is the G. So Icarus gets one vote. Brian is... So currently three votes for Icarus, four votes for Brian. We have eight people watching and two minutes left. If anybody wants to switch, feel free. But we're gonna wait this one out. Do you guys want Brian as our main hero for today's evening? He is zero to hero, Brian the Fireball Maniac. I wonder what's everybody's obsession with flames. Uh, I don't think, uh, I don't know if you can switch. I honestly don't know. I don't think so. Once you vote, it's over. All right, boys. It's, he has a stuck tongue. <laughs> Is that the guy? He talks with a tongue tie. Is that what you guys want? Every time he speaks, he has a slight issue pronouncing, pronouncing a few letters. I would like to pretend to have a tongue tie, but honestly, I just don't want to offend myself. Because I might be having a tongue tie right now. Alright, one minute left. Icarus the Mage, Brian is leading so far. 
<laughs> All right, cool. He pronounces everything with a G. <laughs> what a G himself. I mean, it's, it, the way the word has is spelled is also pretty nice. So, Brian, welcome to the family. Let's end the poll. Rename. So, we got our character, Brian. Let's uh, put him on his back as we dissect what he is about. All right, how do we do this? Boards? No. Campaign board and setting. Great. So we're not gonna have a billion. Uh, what do you call it? Let's let's increase the tiles to like seventy, just so we have a little bit more space. Just so we have a little bit more space. Good. And uh, let's have no full for now. Let's make it a blue surface board so that it looks like water. And uh, let's have our first tat. So I, I like something called luck. I'll be very honest. The strongest thing on earth is luck. Luck is a very nice stat. It is based on uh, absolutely nothing and everything together. Uh, it is how lucky you are, it's about how far you can get when it comes to a straight roll. You could be a great gambler, you can be a horrible dice player, you can also believe in the heart of the card kind of scenario, or the dice in this case. So we have luck, we'll have strength of course, because strength is always a good stat to have. How strong running... You know what, rather than having something too complicated, let's have luck and then we'll have physical, mental. So it's three stats mainly. So physical means he is physically uh, very, very well endowed, if you know what I mean. And mental means he is pretty smart and wise and all the things that go well together. Uh, can I remove these? Uh, maybe I still have to fill these, but I'll just focus on these. And then, uh, luck, physical, mental, health. So you could be very strong, but very unhealthy, because you could have some sickness. Even though it does fall against physical. Hmm. Healthy. Hmm. Is he gonna have traits? Yes, he will have a couple of traits. I mean, assuming he would like, uh, he, you guys would like some traits on him. So we'll have luck, physical, mental, and health. Uh, one other stance. Hmm. Can I delete these? He's gonna be a glutton. You know what? Let's have a hunger. A hunger stat. Uh, and then... Exhaustion or fatigue. Uh, yeah, exhaustion. Sanity. Sanity works. So health, hunger, exhaustion, and sanity, and the last one is... Hmm. What is the last power? We'll have traits. We'll have superpowers, or traits, as the last one. Uh, absolutely not, because the smartest people are usually the most insane. They're not sane, so I don't think it's the same. 
at least in my world right now. <laughs> All right, so we have our s several stats here. That is how things will be. And uh, based on luck, so what we're going to do here is let's make it out of 20. Let's make the upper border. Actually, no. Let's make it out of 10. So every point in luck will add a plus one to luck, per se. So let's say we roll a d20. Okay, and uh, boom. It fell somewhere. So we rolled a five for luck. And since it's luck based, you add whatever the number is. That's a much simpler way to deal with things. Right? Right. So where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Tats, tats, tats. Yeah, here. So we'll start with rolling for stats. Since we are doing out of 10, we're going to be rolling as... Let's roll double d4s and uh, leave the rest for luck. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty okay. So what we're going to do is roll double d4s. And whatever number we get... That is the number for our luck. Alright. I think that's fine. D4 1. Just throw it out of the screen, because why not? We rolled a 4. Cool, the second 4. Boom. What is our luck? 4 and a 3, a luck of 7. This guy is lucky as shit. So he has 7 out of 10 luck, pretty good. Let's uh, roll again. I'm just throwing all of them out there. Ooh. Oh no. We got a 2. We're currently rolling for physical. I'm gonna leave a reroll for everybody. Oh, physical of four, that is on the lower side. I don't think it's lower side. Honestly, this world, anything above a three is above average. I think three is a very strong roll. Because, let's be fair, if you just add a seven to whatever you're rolling, you're, you're working. <laughs> We're not doing a Meshel build. Is his name Meshel? Whatever the guy that just has one of the coolest songs ever. One? Boys, we having a dumbass mage. Okay, five. Yeah, three is a regular human. So, 3 is a regular human, we're just going with that. We're gonna have health. 3. What is the second one? Another 3, that's a very healthy, healthy, healthy boy. Okay. So, I'm a, so we'll leave it at this. Traits, we'll have it at... Uh, zero and zero. We'll roll a d6 and see... Actually, we'll roll a d4 and see how many traits he gets to have. He gets to have two traits. Okay, a little bit of fun. I have not tried it. <laughs> that would be fun. All right, boys. For everybody who's here... We're going to be re-rolling one die. Or one roll. we will be re-rolling one stat. Do we need to re-roll? Do you guys want to re-roll of any of the stats above? So if we're rolling, we're rolling one roll. Or worse, adding a d4. Nah. We just straight up re-roll it. So, do you want to roll luck? Physical. 
mental or health. Uh, stack roll. Oh, stack dies before you roll. Then I don't think I haven't tried it honestly. Uh, we could try and see if we can stack two dice and then roll it down. So, which die does people want us to roll down? Let's see. Or maybe I need to be a little bit lower. Yeah, we can. We can roll two at a time. Yeah, we can roll two at a time if we want to. It's just a simple double click. I'm still new to the system, so... Does anybody want to roll anything? Reroll anything. If nobody want to reroll anything, that's okay as well. I d okay, let's let's put this as you want to. <laughs> Who's this monster? <laughs> so the number of the thing that is rerolled is currently three. Guys, who? Which one do we want to debuff? So we rolled a three. So whatever wins gets to be a three. Oh no. Oh no. I I did not mean it. I did not mean it. So whatever we roll now, whatever we choose becomes a three. That sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> I like how people are like, you know what? Let's ruin it. I mean... I mean, rerolls doesn't have to be a bonus. It can be really rough. And be I'll be very honest, I am not the kindest DM. I like having fun, but I'm also very painful. <laughs> okay, we got four votes. So three is just a normal person. Normal, normal person. Cool. All right, four votes are down. So far, the physical stat is taking the debuff, which makes sense, makes sense a lot. Let's move him to the next port, because why not? Oh. Let's uh, get him to stand. Welcome, Brian, to this world where you're not exactly the most lucky. <laughs> this is the less worse. Fair enough, that's just a minus one. Alright, that is what happened. Let's uh, change it. Physical. It's the slightly less worse number. Okay, so now we have the stats. Let's find a couple of traits, boys. We're just character creationing. And uh, while you guys are finding out which... Uh, just throw out a couple of traits. So one of them is, as people said, or as Conrad said, Glutton. So for every trait, we'll have a positive and a negative uh, association with it. So let's say Glutton, it will be... He gets hungry faster. Hungry... Uh, minus one. But because he's a glutton, uh, he has immunity to poison food. Or to ingested uh, poisons and ailment. Maybe not immunity. We'll give him a plus uh, 
We'll give him a plus or resistance. We'll have a resistance beat thing. Resistance to ingested poison and ailments. <clears throat> In a way, could be considered faster recovery, sure. Uh, or it takes longer for him to get exhausted. So exhaustion plus one. Or plus two. Uh, the second one. Let's find out the second one, boys. Bookworm? Sure, sure. Bookworm could be cool. Let's do... Oh. Mm. So for Bookworms, I'm assuming he has ability to... Ooh. Let's give him a better chance of translating any text. Translating text and more resilience to insanity? I don't know about that. I think bookworms are not the most sane, to be fair. They have translating text, uh, maybe a better, uh, a better comprehension. Improved comprehension. And uh, sure, we'll give them a minor sanity boost. On the other hand, um, on the other hand, we have to give him a weakness. I guess sanity is not the thing. We'll have we'll give him better comprehension, translating text, and memory, so he has better time just remembering shit. On the other hand, he has to be mm, less sane. Let's make him one. We'll, we'll make him a little bit dainty. But minus one to sanity. He enjoys living, but he doesn't enjoy living living. If it makes sense. Loneliness is minus one to sanity, to be fair. Can be considered. Hmm. Improved memory minus one sanity or charisma debuff. I mean, to be fair, we're we're not gonna have any. We're not gonna have many social interactions, maybe, because it's the if we're just starting. But maybe in the future, <laughs> social anxiety. Fair enough. We could have him have social anxiety. Brian, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry, buddy. You are meant to be anxious. Where did I drop him? Yeah, here he is. All right, last. <laughs> I mean, we can have uh, both traits, so we can get, have him a glutton and a bookworm. Alright. I think that's okay. Any other things? Sure. We'll have him. Do These are his traits. He's a glutton and a bookworm. Uh, how can I type his traits here? Is there a way? GM tools, rename, player permission, base color, make unique and set size. Nope. Status, no, he can only fold down or up. We'll just have it to the side, I guess. We'll just remember this. So these are his current traits. Yeah, he's a glutton, so minus one to hunger. So he gets hungrier much faster. 
but he doesn't get exhausted as much. So... 12 to exhaustion. Sanity is a little bit less because he's he's a bookworm. No. So. This is not the poll because we get to do both of them. I'm glad you find it fun. <laughs> so these are the applied stats with the knowledge of him being a glutton and a bookworm. Cool. Great, great. Cool. So this is our main character. His name is Brian. And he is going to have... Uh, we have to have him have an attack, at least. So... What kind of attack does Brian have? I think... There is... Hmm... I think you're supposed to have the sheet somewhere else. Let's see. Playing, rolling dice, creatures, teleport, radial attack ruler. Overview, atmosphere, photo mode. This is mainly not... This is supposed to be a game board, not a stat sheet. So, I guess not. What is this? Unique creatures? I don't have any. Chat messages. Oh, great. Okay, so first attack. We're only giving him one attack. So, whatever suggestions you guys want, he gets one attack. Fireball is one. Anything else, boys? What other suggestions do you guys want? Let's uh, reset the timer. Yeah, it's not working. We need the mage list. Uh, we just we can just have. Uh... <laughs> Okay, sure. He gets a shield, no problem. So per permanently, Brian is not able to fight at all. He just runs around with a fireballer shield. Sure. One more. Let's give him one more spell. This is not going to be an option. This is going to be his current spells. We're just going to have it as a pull. Maybe I can post have a post-it note. Lightning Strike, sure. He is super powerful. So we're gonna have three spells. These are the three spells. Let me see if I can have an like a post-it note somewhere that can be used as a way to track things. Mm hmm. Okay, this might be a little weird. Bear with me. Just bear with me, boys. I have to do something cool. This might be a little more difficult to manage, but I think it's okay. Uh, nope. I guess we'll have it right here. Alright, let's see how this works. So, uh, so this guy uh, is... Name is Brian. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> he has, uh, he's a glutton. 
I'm using my mouse, so he's a glutton and he is a bookworm. What else is there? What else is there for us to figure out? <laughs> He has three spells, so fireball. Um shield and lightning strike. Oh, too many letters. Oh my god. All right, we're done typing for now. Cool. Mm -hmm. So this is our character. Um, <laughs> fire on a boat. Yeah, sure. And we'll figure out what other things are going to happen as we run across the world. Great, great, lovely. I agree. So what happens is let's let's create a wall a, a game world. So Brian is currently on a ship, and uh, it just so happened that this is now canon. Okay. So what is happening is we'll call this guy bring this guy as well up here. Please come here. Knock down. Oh, that's so nice. All right. So <clears throat> the story as it goes, let's see if we can Change the ambience so it makes sense to everybody. We'll start with our first scene. <laughs> uh, da -da, we don't want battle. Let's have dark and humid. There's something here called cutscene. Where's the cutscene one? Uh. This is beautiful. Boards? No. Yeah, yeah. Build mode? Maybe build mode can be changed to exploration. Cutscene. Rap shoot. Oh. What is this? No, thank you. All right. Oh, what is happening? Grab shot. I don't know what this shows or how that looks. But I would love to figure out how this picture does appear. Okay, sure. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first D&D experiment or role-playing experiment. Today, we're introducing our character, our beautiful character, Brian. Brian currently is in a ship in the middle of nowhere. And it so happens that Brian has caused something horrible really horrible do you guys know what brian did 
Brian finished the food storage while people were sleeping. And now, as he ate all the food because he got hungry while reading some comic books, his friends, Icarus the Mage and the Grinch, are currently dying out of hunger. Their hunger is at one. And their exhaustion as they hunger too much is at one as well. And their health is dwindling. Sanity no longer a thing because he ate all the food. This guy's a little bit more sanity, but exhausted nonetheless. But much more sicker. His friends are dying out of hunger as he uh, finished the last bit of food everybody had. And now in the middle of nowhere, he is stranded. Shit. Shit. Shit! Guys, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I don't think uh, anything could work. Like, you know, I don't think... Uh, eh. I mean, we're in the middle of the sea. I thought I thought you guys can fish, but then uh, we don't have any equipments. You know, stuff are very difficult. Uh, I yeah yeah. I, I apologize. I know I know we were already short on food, but I got hungry. I got really hungry. Hmm. I'll fix it. I swear I'll fix it. It's okay. The winds are very very strong. We're gonna get lucky. I know. I know. As he runs down, avoiding the eyes, or technically, the dying breaths of his crewmates, he looks on the sea and wonders how he's going to manage for everybody's torch to die. He can manage all this... <laughs> So this is our first problem. Our first problem is there is no food. All the food has been eaten by Brian the, Gl the Gluttonous. And uh, what do you guys want to do? So we'll start a poll. What to do next? And uh, hopefully you get four options. So. Uh, Conrad says, lightning strike the water. <laughs> Valk was like fireball to the sea. Sure. <laughs> we have four, two more options to choose from. So feel free to give your ideas. We're running out of food. There's no food available in the boat so far. Anything can be an action. Like you could even investigate. You could look for things. You could pray. You could do whatever you like. Once we have four options, search for sign of land on the horizon. Okay. And use boat. Okay, fine. <laughs> we have our four options. Let's start. Our first actual D&D &D role. Let me, uh... Everybody got five minutes. We have five people, so... It's not gonna take five minutes, so... Let's, uh... Let's get to the next action very quickly, hopefully. Hehehehe. <laughs>
What do you guys want to do? Go back to the tail. All right. Votes are casted. We have five people, four people voted. One more vote and we can go ahead uh, with the next action. First vote has been done. It's uh Love it, love it, love it. Okay. D20 search for land. I think the difficulty should be 15. Actually no, he's in the middle of the sea. His difficulty is going to be 15. Fair enough, that makes sense. So 15 is the difficulty? Or... <laughs> uh, to be fair, the number, you add the 7 to it because he is very lucky. Let's go back to reality. The day started. And time passed. Brian looked very hard for any signs of land. He stood at the right side. He stood at the left side. He even stood at the helm like a, you know, a person who is actually worried. There's no land to be seen. <laughs> He has not found anything. He was starting to get hungrier as time passes. Boom. Health is still good. Exhaustion is fine. So, my boy here came that came back to his friends <laughs> guys uh i i think there's nothing anywhere here i'm uh, i'm sorry uh, i know you guys are very hungry but there's nothing left hunger zero health zero hunger Zero, elf, one. His friend on the right, Grinch, raised his middle finger as he passed away. Starved to death as the last hot pocket was eaten by Brian. Buddy, hey, buddy, wake up, wake up. I swear, I swear, I'll get you some food. Please don't go. I miss you. I'll miss you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell your family you've you've died a brave fight. Oh no. Oh no. You're okay, right? You're okay. You're still gonna be okay. Oh no. I'm all alone. I'm all alone. The Grinch starts to panic. His sanity drops slightly. <laughs> the next option, boys. 
So I so that they can eat the Grinch, little cannibalism, sure. I'll call it little cannabi. I like how you did not find any land, so you decided to eat the one person who died. <laughs> This guy is gone. I mean, you guys have to choose. So right now, Little Cannabi is one option. Uh, let me write it out. Oh, what is this? That is not cool. Cool. This is better. <laughs> we Doom Doom. It's all your fault, Captain. So right now, option one. Option one is Cannabi. What else is there, boys? What other options do you guys want to do? For Brian to survive this. Right now, Grinch is dead. Icarus the mage is still alive. Can we uh, emo wiggle, twirl, surprise, status? No. He's already dead. Let's enable a torch so we, we know he's gone. Pray for Godseas. Okay, sure. We can pray for the Godsea. So, right now the options are cannib cannibalism, a little bit of it, praying, because why not? What else do you guys want? Three more options, two more options to the left. <laughs> I honestly think this is pretty fun. I, like, if there is, like, ten people around... Uh, this would move a little bit quicker, a lot more text, but then it can go out of hand very quickly. Hmm. So currently we have the two options, cannibalism and prayer. Sure, we can burn the boat, because why not? What about trying to grill them fishes again? Sure, we can try to grill the fishes. So, burn the boat. Why not? And the last option, grill the fishies. The vote is up there now, and let's... Uh... Uh, you get to choose only one every time one is like one choice is gone uh the timer goes up by one so you guys technically had two turns to save one of your friends one way or another grill the fishies so far grill the fishies gets all of the options a little bit of cannabis is also there <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Cannabi is currently neck and neck with the grilled fishies. You guys are sick. It's beautiful. So it's either grilled fishy or cannabi. <laughs> it's 
four votes, we have six people watching. Don't let it me don't let me choose. I don't want to be the one choosing. One more vote to limit this thing. Ooh. What is happening now? Little Cannabi is ahead. We have five votes. We end it. Let's end the poll. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Buddy, uh, just wait a second. I'll take care of everything. I swear. Just, just ch take a break. I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. You guys see, as Brian takes his buddy downstairs, goes into. Let me see. Can we do this? Yeah. Why? Hmm. Open. Okay, this is cool as hell. Oh, damn it. It's opened already. You guys better go down. And, uh, <laughs> let's close the door. <laughs> It takes a little bit of time uh, behind closed doors. <laughs> behind closed doors, Brian does what he what he's needed to do, and he comes out with where is it? He comes out alone. A little blood on his hand, but nothing much to talk about. Comes back here. You can see him pr a little bit perplexed. As... He sounds a little loony now. So, we're going to be rolling a, D4, a D8 for damage. He already is 8 on sanity. So, this is going to be how much sanity he lost as he butchered and cooked one second yeah butchered and cooked six oh my god <laughs> oh no My boy is going through rough times. My boy is going through real rough times right now. Oh no. <laughs> that is absolutely horrible. Alright. 
Brian here starts feeding this barely conscious crewmate and tries to nurse him back to care. He gives him a bunch of mushy food that he cannot recognize what could possibly it be. His situation improves for now, but he is still pretty sick. I, I think uh, whatever he ate is not sitting well in his stomach, but at least it's food. You have a couple of days worth of food, as my boy here couldn't help but also eat at some point, knowing very well what he was eating. It's okay. Nobody knows. Nobody's here, I think. Does he know? He must know. No way he knows. It's okay. Nobody knows. He was delicious. He was delicious. <laughs> Brian had a taste of real meat. And uh, this might have changed him forever. Glutton. Cannibalist. All right, boys. So we have survived our first uh, problematic encounter. I hope you guys enjoyed the first thing we did today. <laughs> I love it. Uh, as time passed, days passed by. Grinch and let's rename this guy. Where is he? Icarus the Mage. He is actually the Icarus the Mage. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Icarus the Mage. And Brian were able to manage the ship together. Days passed by, his situation improved. Hunger now at seven, his health a little bit improved. Even sanity wise, to be fair, somebody that is very close to death, as long as he, he ignores what is there. Icarus just knew there is food and his buddy is no longer here. He could be aware, but he is blissfully ignorant of whatever, whatever that was. These two buddies, Icarus the Mage and Brian, drove the ship. And let's roll another d20. 11 plus 7, 18. Great work, everybody. Let me see. Oh no, this is huge. Eventually, eventually, the ship ran into a seaport. Into a weird land. Nobody knew what's there, but at least, at least, they're off the ship in their own land, at least. They don't know what's here, but they're also running a little bit low on food. Hopefully, this place is a little nicer to them. Then whatever that middle of the ship was. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of storytelling I did. I mean, it's not much. I'm really loving the game. This is session zero. 
We're just messing around, fi figuring out what could be the way we play, how to play it, and how things could possibly run. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for spending some beautiful, beautiful time. This will probably de be the end of session zero. Thank you, Souza, Conrad, and Valkyrie for being part of this. Thank you, Sane, and anybody who is currently voting, but silently just watching everything respire. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Icarus never knew what he was eating, but it was fun. I'm glad you find that this kind of thing is fun. Uh, Conrad, this is fun. Cool, cool. So this was our... I couldn't even call it a beta. It's more like an alpha version of us having a D&D game. Um, we will improve this. We'll try having a better... Maybe a better fleshed campaign at a certain point. Uh, we could have uh, people attack, people defend, and whatnot. But overall, I love this. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And this will be our trial to see if any of the game music is copyrighted. If it is, well, we can't really use Tailspy with their music. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun with me, and take care everybody, see you guys next time, peace.